She is turning. Oh my gosh, again? Uh oh. Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, let's get under. Get out of here. Two aircraft? Okay, slow back down. Okay, we are currently being pinged by the enemy destroyer. And we're just running silently currently. Depth charges were just dropped in the water by the enemy Sunderland. Thankfully, we got down to 65 meters and we're okay. I'm thinking of popping up and firing off a homing torpedo relatively soon. She already knows where we are. Depth under keel. 75 meters. Okay, down to 120, please. Let's just drop down and try to give this guy the slip. It's like she's about to make her attack run. More depth charges in the water. Those have to be from the aircraft. All right, I'll head flank. Things are getting louder. Oh boy. Change course. Oh, enemies ping us. That's the light. No, I could not tell. If we get an opportunity to pop back up and fire off a homing torpedo, that would be ideal. Okay. Rudder amidships. Periscope depth. Let's rock it up and fire our homing torpedo. Try to wrap this up. Okay, she is making her attack run. We are going flank speed now. Rudder amidships. Okay, that's... Now, those were hedgehogs hitting the seafloor. That's what that was, absolutely. Keep on running. 13 knots. Okay, she passed. She's laying her pattern. Hard to port. Tube 4 is going to fire. So we swing around. This is... <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, I'm hoping our homing torpedo will be able to hit the target. Oh, is she making another pass? What the hell's going on here? I think that's exactly what she's doing. Hard to port. Okay, she's rolling now. Okay, hard to starboard, hard to starboard. So just this. Okay, slow down. Fire. Okay, down to 140 meters. Start moving. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this torpedo actually locks on to the engine sound here. 
Looks like it's running straight for the target. That was a pretty good guess. Maybe the magnet magnet pistol will go off and it'll arm. I'm please. Ran right underneath her. It probably wasn't armed, but the torpedo should start uh zigzagging around here, hopefully. Indeed, it is swinging back around towards the target, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, keep dropping down. Rudder amidships. Just want to be sure that torpedo doesn't come for us. Doesn't look like it is. It's going for the destroyer. This thing is going to be our savior. Let's watch it. Torpedo is running for the target. Looking good. Oh, perfect. And she's done. Oh my God, are you? What? 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 Oh. What a what a rush of emotions <laughs> that was. Oh my goodness. That was insane. She's Yeah, it looks like both props were blown off. And we're alive. Okay, level out here. Level out here. What is our Derzeit depth under keel? About two meters. We hit the sea floor. All right, come up. Slow down. And stop running. She's out of action. Holy crap! Well, that was exciting. What a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, slow down. I'll stop actually. That was nuts. And you know, if I if I were in any other boat, I would not be this risky, obviously. I wonder if that's even going to sink her. How is she still moving? Looks like she is uh, taking on water in the stern, but we're going to make our escape. That was intense. That is for freaking sure. Okay. Well, let's... Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's follow our plotted course. Let's start moving at just two knots out of the area. What? What a fight. What a just like a duel. It's like something you'd see in a movie. <laughs> and if I were in any type of any other boat, I would not be doing stuff like this. <laughs> I'm just... I'm really just testing the Type 21 and I'm stretching my luck. Uh, I'm trying to have some fun with it in the final days here. But that was that was nuts. We're going to exit the area and we'll see if that destroyer ends up going down. I may pop up and blast it with another torpedo depending on uh, what happens. We have now maneuvered into position to finish off this enemy destroyer. It doesn't seem like she's moving. I think the T5 torpedo just blew her props clear off. Lock on target. Identify it just because. And angle on bow. 90 degrees to starboard. Speed zero. Range 500 meters. And we're just going to fire a regular T3 torpedo at her. She is shooting at us. This is lovely. 850 meters set. Down scope. Tube two, tube one actually. Four meters, yeah, set to five, open. Open tube one. Magnetic pistol, everything's looking good. This is a regular G70 torpedo. Up scope. Fire. Yep, torpedo away. Let's finish this one off. And this one's gonna feel pretty good as long as it's not a dud. Let's go ahead and go to the external view and watch the pretty explosions. If we go over to the enemy vessel, we can see screws are blown clean off. She is just dead in the water. Uh, she was pinging us and obviously the gun crew is still there. Here's our torpedo running straight for the middle of the target. And she's about to 
her day's about to get a lot worse. Well, I think that's a accurate description of what's about to happen here. Broken clean in half. Well, that was quite the duel. I think it's time for us to go to deeper waters and get out of here after that one. We're just going to plot a course away and uh, try to avoid situations like that for the rest of the war. <laughs> I will say that was that was pretty darn intense and cool, even if uh, even if it was a bit silly, uh, honestly, getting into a situation like that. But uh, yeah, still quite entertaining nonetheless. Hopefully you all enjoyed that as much as I did. Anyway, we're going to make our way out of here, head for deeper waters, and continue on our patrol. As the war comes to a close, we're going to start receiving quite a few radio messages, so expect those in the coming episodes. Uh, here is one that is of importance. Mussolini has been captured and hanged by Italian partisans. Allied forces have taken Venice. And that is the current situation. It is currently April 29th, 1945. We're on grid AM31, heading westward off to the Rockall Bank. I'm hoping in grid AL we will find some hunter-killer groups out here that we can hunt down. But we will see. Another important radio message has been received. The U.S. 7th Army has liberated Dachau concentration camp. April 30th, 1945, we have received some good news. Adolf Hitler has committed suicide. The boat is continuing on her patrol. We're almost at the Rockall Bank. We'll be here in AL-35 in around 63 hours at our current speed. Another radio message. All German troops in Italy have surrendered. The more I continue patrolling, the less likely I think we'll actually encounter anything before the war is over. I've just been messing around up here. We have not s received a single radio report of uh, any hunter killer groups or any ships in the area when normally there's quite a few of them i think i'm going to start backtracking back to kind of where we were at least we can kind of sink some stuff in the north sea before heading back home before the war is done um i don't know may 2nd 1945 we'll see what we can find Okay, we got a radio message that is actually pretty important for us from BDU. Bergen is not available for operations any longer, so that is quite unfortunate. That just means we'll have to go to another port when the war is finally done. I've decided to kind of switch things up. We're going to go here and see if we can get any shipping going in and out of the Irish Sea area. Um, who knows what we will find will be there in 70 hours. It's currently May 3rd, 1945. I am surprised with just the complete lack of shipping we have seen out here. Um, it's been quite a bust, if I'm being honest. I'm just thinking back to the previous patrol when we were getting uh, radio reports of groups out here just left, right, and center. Now it's just just emptiness. Nothing. Oh well. Uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Well, 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 what do we have here? I have my snorkel up, uh, recharging oxygen and batteries, and we've picked up some radar signals. Let's yep, drop yep. our snorkel back down and track the ship. Hopefully we can pick it up on hydrophones and maybe we can fire a couple of torpedoes at it. We have a T5 homing torpedo, which we have, I think two more, right? Maybe that's our last one. Oh, is it really? Oh, wow, we only have one T5 torpedo. I may fire a more conventional torpedo at this. Okay, no, we do have another one. That's what I thought. Uh, I thought it was... Okay, so we're down to three, actually. I got uh, one loaded in the tube and then two in reserve. Perfect. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the T5 icon here and, uh, say, the T3 or whatnot. But, okay, that's fine. 
least we know now we have a few more to work with. Might as well just keep firing them because they're kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest, and our speed dropped down to zero. Let's kick that up to around four knots. Looks like the target is heading south-southwest. Okay, let's plot this out. It seems to be just a lone warship contact, 210. Let's adjust our course, new heading 310. Get nice and close, and get ready to fire a T5. I normally would not be firing at targets like uh, this, destro this destroyer, for example, but just with how limited, uh, how much time we have left in the war, I figure we might as well. All right, reduce speed. Down to four knots, and we should be in a pretty good position. We don't really have to be extremely exact with our homing torpedoes, which is quite nice, so. All right. Rig for silent running. Once we drop below, four knots we should be able to pop up our scope it looks like tube three is carrying the torpedo i guess it's close to a 90 degree angle she's probably going uh 10 or so knots if you could track the warship let's go here and adjust our men get the weapons officers on station warship 020 increasing speed moving away interesting up scope medium speed okay bring this up it's probably a british warship it is oh wow it's pretty rough out so that's going to be problematic for sure all right reduce speed please I, I rigged for silent running i forgot to readjust the speed so we're still kind of booking it there we go five knots come on just get it below four please so we can see there we go. All right, lock on target, single stacker, two guns, two torpedo launcher. There, and it looks like a rear turret. It's a destroyer. Let's flip through here, gotta be rather quick. It's not a hunt. J and K class, no, L and double A class. That actually may be her, 1,690 tons, identify. Uh, it's very possible it's in the Q1R class. What the? F What's the difference? S and T. Oh boy. Let's go with S and T. It looks like they're all very similar. Length is 108 meters. Let's time her and start. I'm guessing she's probably going pretty close to 15 knots. Draft is 4.7. Set draft to around five and a half. For our torpedo. All right, and stop. 100 meters speed. Yeah, or 11 knots. 11 knots set. Angle on bow is just shy of 90 degrees. Range to target. Something like so. Two kilometers. Open tube three. And my main concern is this torpedo is just going to run run deep in these conditions. Fire. Alright, torpedoes away. Hopefully that torpedo locks onto the target. Down scope. Want to avoid that being spotted or picked up on the enemy radar. And we're just going to watch this little torpedo icon head towards the target. Once it starts squiggling, we know we, we've done well. But that actually looks like a pretty darn good sp solution, especially for... Uh, how on the fly it really was, and the torpedo is squiggling. There we go, where is she? Okay, these homing torpedoes are quite fun. <laughs> Even if they are just, you know, point and shoot, really. See, there's our torpedo. It actually has not malfunctioned. It's running at a pretty good depth. Normally, when firing in rough conditions, uh, it's pretty easy for your torpedoes to malfunction, but this torpedo is going right for her screws. Oh, uh, this never gets old. Enjoy. Torpedo the shores tend to explode and men get thrown in the air. Okay, it looks like all of her depth charges were blown off the ship. 
And a torpedo launcher was blown off as well. That's kind of interesting. I'm sure her screws are gone. Wow, no, they're not. Oh, the hit was right there, so... Looks like she is already starting to take on water. Definitely has slowed down. We'll see if that's enough to sink her. She's going down. Fantastic. Man, those homing torpedoes are extremely powerful. Like I said, they're, they really are just point and shoot, but they are quite fun to watch as they uh, really do their thing. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment. It looks like we'll have one more video in this series. The next one will most definitely be the last one. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.